on this episode of Dragon Ball V. No, seriously though, the DBV, it's pretty awesome. I, uh, I, I have mixed signals about it, but it's still awesome. Alright, now the DBV-12 is the last weapon you unlock in the category. I think you need a score of, like, ridiculously high amounts. Um, and that is my professional diagnosis. I don't remember the exact numbers, like 42,000 or 58,000 or something in there somewhere. Um, I like the gun a lot. It kind of... Now, not visually, because this thing is as thin as can possibly be. Um, visually, this looks like a, an assault rifle of sorts, but... The way it performs, the way it handles, and the way it shoots kind of reminds me of how the Dowd 12 of Battlefield 3 did. Um, just, I don't know, it's just, it, you know how something just feels sometimes? It feels like the Dowd 12. Uh, it comes in there with 11 shots, uh, obviously with that new, what people are calling the reload bug. It complicates things with this weapon. But I'm here to, I'm here to talk a little bit about it, kind of clear some things out and give you some advice for those that are trying to conquer this weapon. Uh, it has a lot of recoil. It kind of has some pushback recoil. Not necessarily super high vertical or horizontal recoil, but it feels like it kicks back a lot at you, making things a little complicated. Hip firing is actually a little bit more consistent on this weapon than some of the other ones, which is good. Um, but above all, this weapon does have a significant bit of recoil, which it should have for something that can shoot as fast as it does. But what I like it for is that it's a comfort thing like you can just run around and, and shoot about this thing just just like you can with the qbs and it provides it, it useful in those situations now with this weapon i want you guys to probably use the support class because of the reload animation now because you can have six shots still in there it reloads magazine style so you'll lose those additional six shots and nobody likes to do that so with only having about four mags total including the initial one you can easily be out of ammo with this weapon in 30 seconds, especially if you get into a confrontation of significant range where you're going to use all of your ammo to take on, like, one guy. If he's, You're going to need to blow out all of your ammo to do that. Um, my god, is it me or is it like deja vu? I feel like I've been on this map before. I don't know. I didn't mean to put up more siege, guys. I know you've had enough of that, but it's what it's what was in the rotation. I went with it. The gun is good. I recommend you to always use it on support class. You'll see that throughout this gameplay, just the little bits and clips, that I put down the ammo pack so many times, and it's because you need it. Um, and, and I can't emphasize on that enough, that, that that should be like a mandatory thing for using this weapon, because you're going to find yourself having to rely on your secondary. And that's not the worst thing in the world. The secondaries, I find, are a little bit more reliable now than they were in BF3. But you still like having your primary, because well, it's always good to have two guns. Two guns are better than one. And that's what we call a domestic partnership. But anyway, serious note, though. Uh, the, the gun is good. Rock it out in support class. Another thing that I want to encourage you guys to use, since you are using the support class, is to actually take the XM25, but use it as a smoke launcher. I find that people use it, they either lean and crutch on it too much and seriously use it all the time, which is kind of a waste. But above all, um, smoke is one of the most valuable covers for anyone using a shotgun. Your goal is to get into the area in range where your gun outperforms the other weapons. Now, all the other guns in this game kill a lot quicker than what they used to in Battlefield 3. So the shotguns really do need a little bit of extra help. Now, what I'm recommending you guys is to use that smoke grenade, the smoke launcher. You'll see here in a clip soon where I completely block out the windows of a building because I need to run across the main road. And that was one of the best tactics possible. You need to put yourself in the closest situations as you can. And smoke can be your best friend with a shotgun as your primary. So that's just my big tip for you guys. Um, and that's just what I wanted to share with you. It's something that I found to be a good thing. So support class, uh, smokes kind of the best ways to give yourself the best chances to get the most kills and support your team the most while using weapons like this one right here, the UTS or anything else may be out there. But I just wanted to share this weapon with you because it was the last one. I spent a lot of time on domination unlocking this. Uh, you know, game types like that are good. I would recommend if you guys are trying to unlock shotguns, play it in some 64-man TDM. Uh, I would say Domination is probably my favorite, and the reason I prefer Domination to TDM is because TDM is just kind of carelessly, it's kind of boring, um, but Domination kind of has a little bit of an objective roleplay, but above all, it kind of lets you know where they're spawning, and it lets you know if they're taking an objective, you know where to flock to to pick up that extra unsuspecting person, right? Here's what I was talking about with clearing out the windows in the doorway. Now, I've just got 
full advantage to run up in here and oh how you doing oh you got friends we can do this but now we're coming to an end time to circumcise the commentary so thank you guys for watching be sure to click that like button so it helps out a lot look for more videos down in the description below if you want some more pornography and have a great day stay moist ladies and gentlemen